what's up everyone so for today's video we're going to do something different i actually asked my friend earlier you know to give me five mini challenges but what i did not tell him is that every challenge i cannot complete i owe him a hundred bucks so all right let's see what the first challenge is i'm going to put it up on screen uh perform mlg water bucket from world height limit that doesn't sound too hard right but remember i get only one chance if i screw it up i owe him a hundred bucks so i'm go just going to use diamond blocks because i'm in creative and this is going to take a while Okay, so in Minecraft Bedrock 256 is the height limit and I'm going to perform the water uh, MLG water bucket from there. I'm kind of nervous because you know I'm not a rich guy, I'm not Mr. Beast to give 100 bucks. Anyways, let's do this guys, 3, 2, 1, uh, let me just throw that one out. If I can't catch it, I'll do it, otherwise I'm just going to use the backup water bucket. Okay, never mind, I couldn't catch it. Oh, yep, nailed it, wait. You, do you guys think that was a glitch? Fine, you know what? That definitely was a proper MLG water bucket, but I'm just going to do it again because this is too easy for challenge number one. Hopefully, the rest will be this easy. Okay, the second attempt. And oh, yep, definitely nailed that one. Challenge number one completed. Okay, let's see what the second challenge okay, is. So for the second challenge, uh, I have to trade with a villager in under a minute. Oh, but I get to use my own seed and I have to do it first try. So let's just see what and all options we have. We have a coastal village, abandoned village. Yeah, there's no villages there. Desert village? Nah. I think coastal village will be the best. Because I have a plan to trade with farmers as fletching tables will take a long time. Anyways, um, okay, let's start right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a timer on screen, alright. Okay, so here's the post. Okay, where's the village actually? Is it in the woods? Please let me just go check. Oh my god, if I don't find the village in the next 30 seconds, I'm doomed. Okay, come on, man. Uh, imagine he doesn't let me use my own seed. Then I have to go with the lux. Oh, is that a village? Oh no, that's a rose post. Oh, oh, okay, I see the village. It's right over there. Okay, jump. Uh, okay, yep, made that. Right. Oh, oh! I see a farmer over there. Hopefully, he'll have something good for me. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's go. Mm. Hey, okay, okay, Mr. Farmer. What do you need? Okay, wheat. I can get you wheat. I can get you wheat. Come on, come on. Twenty wheat, right? Yeah, that's all. Oof. This is so stressful. Oh, I have ten seconds left. Okay. Yep. Let's. Oh, yep. There you go. Fifty-one point sixty-six-two. That's less than a minute. And you know what? I got extremely lucky as I get to pick my own seed. If he had said no picking own seed, then this channel would have definitely been less possible. Anyway, so while I'm here, let's just do challenge number three, which is kill an iron golem with a clear inventory. Meaning, I have to always keep my inventory clear throughout killing the poor iron golem. I mean, I always feel bad for iron columns. You know, all they do is protect the villagers and speedrunners and players like me have to kill them. All right. So we're going to call this iron golem Hamilton because what C calls him Hamilton. Okay. And if you ask me, do I have a strat? No, I don't have a strat. I'm not allowed to break blocks. I'm not allowed to place blocks. I have a clear inventory. So initially I thought, you know, you can just hit and run, hit and run. But yeah, I'm just going to attempt that. Okay. Um, Oh, oh, yep, wait, oh, oh my god, that he does a lot of damage. Okay, um, oh my god, this is, I don't want to lose a hundred bucks. Wait, can iron golem swim? Let me try in the water. Wait, oh, looks like he cannot jump in water. That's good to know. Okay, I can't reach him from here, but that doesn't mean I can't lure him towards here. Okay, come on, Mr. Hamilton. Don't you want to kill me? Yeah, you're just going to get yourself killed. Hopefully, he cannot jump in water, you know. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You're getting close. He's getting close. Oh, hopefully, he can't reach me. Uh, okay, I think I can hit. Oh, yep, I can hit him from here. 
it's probably going to take a while so let's fast things out you know i genuinely feel bad for and comes yeah my inventory is clear throughout the process and challenge completed if you look at that uh i got 3 iron which is minimum i mean that's what i get for killing poor hamilton i'm going to place this poppies in memory of hamilton next challenge i actually think this is the challenge i'm going to lose 100 bucks so it says survive a minute with a clear inventory with in a 5 by 5 hole with 5 zombies yeah it sounds impossible actually and i definitely know i'm going to lose this but worth a try i guess well he shouldn't have made it so impossible i did i it's i didn't tell him that it's you know make it so hard anyways let me start all right mm, okay uh okay i'm feeling uh, all right oh oh my god oh my god they're not even letting me in the hole okay this is this is disastrous oh oh my god i'm good not even five seconds that this challenge sucks it's the first time i lose a hundred bucks that was a costly mistake anyways it was an impossible challenge you know next challenge and finally the last challenge which is to beat the ender dragon with your bare fist under five minutes yeah that's right but this time you don't have to have a clear inventory you're allowed to wear armor and have other items so i have a few golden apples and pearls and a pickaxe just in case i need blocks and i have enchanted netherite armor so i'm going to start the timer once it's changed into survival mode okay um all right i'm gonna put the timer on screen too okay let's go beat this dragon am i right once uh i started beating the i mean punching the dragon i realized how long this was going to take because your turns out your bare fist it's not so powerful and these endermen oh my god i think the bigger challenge is the endermen because the dragon is not bothering me so much as the endermen okay that's the perch so i'm gonna go at oh okay i realized how much damage my fist was doing not so much if you think about it but these endermen were so annoying i mean th this is going to take a while as i'm doing it in the fist my only concern was if i was able to finish it before five minutes so throughout the process while the dragon was not perching i was just defending myself for, uh, against these endermen which is so annoying and the dragon was not damaging me so much the endermen were the ones who bothered me if i had not had armor i would have definitely died by now So I realized that I was getting closer to finishing the dragon. Just one more perch and this finally happened. I defeated the dragon under 5 minutes. 428. That is definitely under 5 minutes. Challenge completed. I was being absolutely bullied by these two endermen but I didn't care because I just completed challenge number 5. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to call him and tell him that he got 100 bucks. So subscribe. Bye. Okay, so um, you know, you remember that you sent me like five mini challenges, right? Um, yes. Actually, uh, actually, the challenge was every challenge I could not complete, I give you a hundred bucks, and you just got a hundred bucks because I couldn't complete the zombie in a whole challenge. So, congrats on your hundreds buck. Uh, I mean, hundred bucks, man. That's all right. Thanks. I'll send you the money. Is there anything else you want to say? watching this video, subscribe to this page so I can steal more of his money. Okay, that was rude. But thank you. Bye.